Well, why Boynton? What, what prompted you to write about Boynton? Your last book was on the Raiders, the first uh, um, American Commandos uh, unit. What prompted you to write a book about a Marine aviator in general, and particularly Pappy Boynton? I had always been interested in the history of the Marine Corps and, uh, and had written a few other books about different battles of World War II, etc. So when I was looking around for another topic for the next book, uh, I did some basic research in Boynton, whom I knew, like many other people in the United States, from watching the television series. And uh, I, I found in the research that Boynton was an incredible success with the black sheep and yet, about a year before that, he was a miserable failure with the Flying Tigers, the AVG. And I wondered, what caused that? What could make a man turn from a failure into a success in that short a period of time? And so that's what really brought me to the book. You know, in the book you describe Boynton as a man of incredible accomplishments sprinkled among deplorable shortcomings. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Well, Boynton, the, the incredible uh, accomplishments, of course, would be his service in World War II with the Black Sheep, where he was awarded the Medal of Honor, shooting down 26 Japanese aircraft, and the, etc. His shortcomings sort of occurred before that and after that. It was almost like the accomplishments were an oasis of uh, sanity in a world of insanity for Boynton. He had shortcomings as a family member. Not only his own parents were absentee, then he became an absentee father to his children. Money problems every stage of his life to the extent where the Marines had to arrange with his creditors to uh, uh, schedule payments to pay off his bills. The uh, drinking occurred at a very early age. Uh, he, he was one, if he had a problem, turned to the bottle as his solution. Uh, he, during the war he had some other personal shortcomings that would be quite offensive to Marines or to any military where he might fudge on some of the records and claim he shot down a couple of enemy aircraft when uh, possibly the records uh, could not validate that. That's very interesting. You know, you did mention the, uh, the TV series from uh, you know, a few decades back. Well, what I found interesting in reading the book was that the portrayal of the pilots in the series was certainly not the reality that they were uh, not the, uh, as how should I put it, the dregs of the brigs, but were really uh, quite accomplished individuals and went on to quite uh, significant accomplishments later in their life. I suppose that was Hollywood largesse or it, Hollywood uh, playing fast and loose with the truth? It, it certainly was. Uh, that's an understatement to say they pay, played fast and loose with the truth. These pilots were very gifted men, uh, gifted aviators, and after the war they were successes. One lived near me, Fred Avey, uh, just two miles from where I'm from, and I talked to him about it and he just, the reaction to that TV series was, give me a break, you know, the only thing accurate about it was that we flew Corsairs. Those were pretty much his exact words. The black sheep were very upset with Pappy for cooperating with that which he did for, uh, you know, because Hollywood threw a pile of cash his way, so Boynton saw that as a way of solving some problems monetarily. But the Black Sheep detested that series. Um, you talked about his leadership in combat, uh, his skill as an aviator. What I also found interesting in the book was uh, he was shot down and became a prisoner of war. Was that another moment where you would say that he's shown the, the, the two areas of his life would be the black sheep and his time in prison camp. A man named Hap Halloran, who spent time in prison camp with Boynton and became a lifelong friend after that and actually delivered his eulogy. Uh, Halloran told me that when he saw Pappy walk into prison camp, he said, I knew I was going to survive because above all, Pappy was going to make it. And if Pappy was going to make it, so would I. And Halloran told me that during the time Boynton was in camp, he would go out of his way to help the other guys, to talk to them, to counsel them, to encourage them to hang on under tough circumstances. Obviously a flawed hero, but there are things we can also learn from flawed heroes. If you were going to give a few things in Pappy Boynton's life uh, that Marines of today should emulate, what would they be? Well, his commitment to excellence in the one area he knew, and that was the cockpit of an aircraft. 
everything else in his life was totally out of control and madness, but when he stepped into an airplane and sat down in there, he knew what he was doing, and so he did everything he could to become even better at that and impart that to his black sheep. Practice, practice, practice. Know your aircraft. Uh, be prepared. Those kinds of things. So even though he was a shambles in most areas, that one arena in which he felt confident in, he put 100% effort into it. And I would say that would be the lesson. Well, thank you very much. I highly recommend the book. It is a crackling good read. I learned a lot about Marine Corps history from reading the book, and I learned a lot about Pappy Boyington that I never learned watching television. Hey, thanks. It's a great book. Thank Th you very much. Appreciate those kind words. Thank you.